Uh, like I said, we just got away from our game plan. They, they kind of became more aggressive uh, and uh, killed us on the boards. And, uh, we just got away from it, it was one stretch, I guess it was at the 345 mark of the technical foul. A lot of free throws that kind of seemed to shift the momentum. you remember what happened? Yeah, it was a tough play for us. Uh, the ref, David Nas, may have found Hayes and Keontae Johnson shot the ball at the same time, apparently. But, uh, the ref called the foul. We were in the double bonus, so we got rid of them after that. And then Coach Bedford got a tag, so it was a seven point swing. And uh, you know, it definitely shifts the momentum, uh, slows the game down, which is uh, much better for them at the pace they play. So, uh, we had a chance to come back from it. Uh, we can't do well in that play. What was it? What was it that kind of shifted there? Where you guys they would make that comeback from thirteen? You guys had the thirteen point lead. I mean, just what, what was it that really kind of changed down the stretch of the game? Oh, uh, they became the aggressor, and we kind of fell back. And, uh, you know, like Coach Wade always says, chance for them to be aggressor. So um, yeah, things went their way. With the postseason tournament obviously still in your future, mm -hmm. what did this tournament mean to you guys? Uh, we're the haunted team. Uh, we're the number one seed coming in. We got beat. Uh, nobody cares what seed you are. Uh, so we can't. Uh, you know, obviously, we're going to be one of the higher seeds. So we can't. Uh, that's not an advantage at all. So. What's the lesson learned in this type of play where, you know, when are you at home? Yeah, we just leave everything on the floor. And uh, I don't think we can say that we did that today. So, so. Great things that we have another chance at it in the, uh, with much higher stakes. So uh, you know, I think uh, we'll take some positive things from this. What was it like having Javante back? Huge, and he played really well. Uh, he was a huge part of our team. Uh, a great playmaker and made a lot of plays for us. Today. So it's great to see him back here. How nice is it knowing that he's going to continue to be on the team going forward, especially with so much on the line in this? Well, it's great. I mean, we need him. Uh, pretty much simple as that. How do you handle the time, sort of in that stretch of unknown, whether he was going to play or not? How did he handle all that? How did he handle it? Yeah. He handled it very well. Uh, a sure guy. Uh, he just loves to see everybody uh, do well. So uh, he's so unselfish. And he just wanted to see us uh, win today, whether it was with him or without us. Scarlett, what do you think the future of this team is moving forward into the NCAA tournament? Well, we have a chance to win. We don't have much momentum going in, but we got the talent. We got we got a we got a very tight knit group. So we've got a chance to do special things. How much of a challenge has it been for you guys to adjust here on the fly with the uh, scenario of coaching and all that? Uh, it's been somewhat of a challenge, but uh, you know, Coach Memphis doing a great job. Coach Hire, Coach Armstrong, and, uh, all of our managers are a huge help to us. So everybody everybody's doing their part uh, the best they can, and you know, we're, we're kind of going with that. What's different without Coach Way? What, what do you miss with him not being with you guys right now? Uh, his attention to detail, um, you know, how, uh, how well he prepares us for the game. And Coach Benford and <coughs> all the other coaches are doing a great job of that also. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.